Edinburgh, 1828. The greatest minds came from all over the world. And so did these guys. We had no money to speak of. No plan. We just have to work out what the demand is for, and then supply it. But in every cloud, there's a silver lining. We're flat out broke. What about old Donald's rent money? <laughs> He's dead. Get rid of the body before it starts to stink up the place more than you two. We used to sell the dog to Knox at three pounds a cadaver. Three pounds. And I thought life around here was supposed to be cheap. This is wrong. I am confident that this is the only way. I had confidence in a fart once, and I shot all over myself. The word that did was wrong. I commend you both from account of his freshness. I'll give you three pounds. I'll pay you the same for any more you can deliver. What do you do for a living? In surgical supplies. You did? I became a dancer and times got tough and I branched out into physical theatre. Yeah, like acrobatics. Sometimes. I need to make more money. Fast. You care about women, right? A fine one. Plus an arm and a leg. Have you gone mad? No, Willie. We've gone into business. Showtime! Is she dead? Yeah, she snuffed it. I certainly hope so. It's got everything. Sex. <laughs> Murder. Are you alright? We're talking about the ultimate crowd pleaser. The militia. They're closing in. Alright, right, show me your wings. I think you've got a perfectly lovely arse. Evening, Mrs. McPhee. Hmm. I'm pretty sure tonight's the night. I know this amazing trick you can do with your tongue. Thank you, William. I am Captain McClintock, and this is the Edinburgh Militia. Oh, for the love of Lord Jesus! I beg your pardon. Berg and Hare. What about his uh, posture, sir? Threaten him out.